I love to sing la la la. Oh, hey, Krista. Hi, Mike. <gasps> What's wrong with your voice? Well, last night my friends and I were singing. It was so much fun, but now my voice is gone. Oh, no. I I'm so sorry to hear that. It's really sad, too, because today is my little sister's soccer game. I was going to cheer her on, but nobody's going to hear my cheering now. Oh, no. Well, you know what, Krista? I want to encourage you because, you know, we're going to learn today in our Bible story that Peter also faced hard times when he was sharing about Jesus mm -hmm. and God was with him and God got him through it. So I, I believe God's going to get you through it. And we're going to learn about that today in our lesson, but... We're also going to do other things like play a game and do a craft and do some worship, but you don't have to sing. You can sing from your heart and, and, and raise your hands, but um, it's going to be a great service. So kids, would you join us in worship right now? Because that's how we're going to begin our service. Stand up to your feet, stand up, and let's get worshiping. And Krista, don't worry, I'll do all the talking.
Hey kids, welcome to today's Focus Up moment. This is where we take time out of our service to worship God through singing to Him. And we want you to be able to focus in this moment. So if you need to dim the lights a little bit or move to a different part of the room, we encourage you to do that. And we're gonna sing This I Believe. It talks about believing in the Holy Spirit and God the Father and God the Son, um, three in one. So let's sing it together. Holy Spirit conceiving Christ the Son Jesus our Savior I believe in God our Father I believe in Christ the Son I believe in the Holy Spirit our God is three in one I believe in the resurrection that we will rise again for I believe in the name of Jesus. Let's sing that again. Our Father everlasting, the all-creating one, God Almighty. Your Holy Spirit, conceiving Christ the Son, Jesus our Savior. I believe, I believe in God our Father, I believe in Christ the Son, I believe in the Holy Spirit, our God is three in one. I believe in the resurrection, that we will rise again. I believe in the name of Jesus. I believe in you. I believe you rose again. I believe that Jesus Christ is Lord. One more time. I believe in you. I believe you rose again. I believe that Jesus Christ is Lord. One more time. God our Father, I believe in Christ the Son, I believe in the Holy Spirit, our God is three in one, I believe in the resurrection, that we will rise again, I believe in the name of Jesus. Well, thanks for joining me in today's Focus Up moment. What a powerful and wonderful song. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, boys and girls. Welcome to our game today. My name is Mike. And my name is Krista. And the game today is called Can, Can you, you Hear it? it? Do you hear what I hear? Well, we're going to play you some sound clips. We're going to start them off quiet and then get them louder. And it's your job to guess what that sound is. Are you ready? Okay, put your listening ears on, put them on, put them on, and let's get started with our first sound now. Oh, that sounds like it's off in the distance. Uh, let's go a little louder. Oh, I know what it is. Okay, okay. So the answer was... Dog, dog barking. barking. <laughs> I don't know what that, that sounds dog like. sounds angry. I know. Okay, let's get our next sound up now. Ooh, Ooh it's uh, kind of like a, like a low fuzzy sound. It is kind of fuzzy. Okay, let's get it a little bit louder now. How relaxing. Oh, I think I could fall asleep <laughs> to this sound. Okay, do you kids know what it is? Okay, we're going to give you the answer. Krista, you tell them in three, two, one. Waves crashing. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's get our next sound ready now. 
Mm. Oh, it's like... How loud? Yeah, it's like an annoying. Mm. Like maybe an alarm? Okay, let's get it a little bit louder now. Uh, oh, yeah, uh. yeah, I know what this is. It's kind of <laughs> like something's done out of the oven. Okay, do you guys know what it is? Shout it out in three, two, one. It's a kitchen, uh, kitchen timer. timer. That's right. Ding, 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 ding. All right, let's get our next sound effect out now. It's very faint. Yeah. I do hear this in the middle of the night with my baby, do you? I do do sometimes. Oh. I recognize this sound. Well, let's get this sound a little bit louder. Okay, do you guys know what it is? I All right, do. tell them what it is. It's a baby crying. It's a baby crying. They're crying. Crying. <laughs> well, good job if you got that one right. Okay, let's get our next sound effect out now. Oh, yeah, I mean. Okay, opening yeah. something for sure that it had some pressure. All of a sudden. Yeah, okay, let's get this sound a little bit louder. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. someone's opening a can of something. Uh, do you know what that, what it sounds like? I think it sounds like someone's opening a can of something too. Okay, like peaches? Oh, maybe peaches. Uh, I don't know if peaches <laughs> have that sound. What but... a good snack. Okay, so the answer in three, two, one is a can of soda. Oh, That's right. Of course. <laughs> All right, let's get our next sound effect out now. Oh, oh that sounds so joyful. Yeah. Very quiet. Very, okay, let's get it a little bit louder now. <laughs> oh, something happened. I love something it. Something funny happened, okay. Uh, do you know what it is? It's pretty obvious. We're gonna give you the answer in three, two, one. It's kids oh, laughing. They're laughing. They're laughing at something. <laughs> Maybe I fell down when I was walking. Oh, no, maybe oh. you told a funny joke. Don't laugh at people when they fall down. Ever. <laughs> yeah, but funny jokes, you can laugh at those. That's true. Also laugh at my jokes if they're not funny, please. That's a nice thing. It makes me feel good. Yeah. Okay, let's get our next sound effect out now. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa, is someone sneezing? What? Whoa. <laughs> okay, let's get our sound out a little bit louder now. Oh, okay, uh, I know. I mean, not many animals in the world sound like this. It's true. I think I've heard this sound at a barn before. Yeah, or maybe grandma. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is, it's a horse neighing. Aww. Why do, they, why do they call it neighing? Neighing? That's so negative. I Nay. Know. Nay. Agree. <laughs> Next audio sample now. I know this, Melody. I recognize this from somewhere. It's I've heard so, it. It's so faint. It's like in, in, in into the unknown. Uh, I don't know if I'll get it. Let's get it a little bit louder. Go, oh. I know what this is. I know is. what this is. This is <laughs> Pinocchio's theme song. Mm-hmm. I recognize it anywhere. Uh, it's not. It's uh, three, two, one. Let it go. Aww. Singing from Frozen. We know that voice from anywhere. So, thanks for playing our game today. We had a lot of fun. What was your favorite sound? My favorite sound? Well, hmm. I really like the laughing, because I think laughing's so fun. Yeah, that's cool. I liked the horse, because there's nothing like a horse mm. neighing. We'll see you on our next game. That was fun. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Hi, boys and girls. My name's Krista, and today we're going to be unboxing the Bible. What does unboxing the Bible mean? Well, you know when a package comes to your house or you go and buy something and you get to open it for the very first time? Well, that's what we're doing, except we get to open the Bible. All right, so here we go. We have N-A-M-E. That spells name. This comes from our Bible verse, Acts 4, 12. God has given no other name under heaven by which we must be saved. And what is that name? That name is Jesus, of course. Let's say it again. God has given no other name, Jesus, under heaven by which we must be saved. All right, now we're gonna go to our lesson. Here we go. <laughs> hey boys and girls, it's Pastor Mike here. Are you ready to look at the Bible in the book of Acts chapter four? I know you're ready. So let's get into it. Peter and John are teaching at the temple and there are Jewish leaders that are saying, no, 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 stop it. Don't say anything more about how powerful Jesus is. Now, why did people not wanna hear about God to hear about Jesus? 
Well, because they were jealous. The Jewish leaders, they had the temple and they had all their rituals and what they usually like to do for God. And here come Peter and John talking about how Jesus died on the cross and rose again for the sins of the world. And isn't that the truth? Whenever we talk about Jesus and the truth of God's word, some people, maybe they don't know it yet. And it's on us to share that good news. Here's a question. Should we still talk about Jesus when things are hard? Yes is the answer. So I have in my pocket here two balloons. Okay, so these balloons are going to represent doing things in our own strength and then doing things when we're filled up by the Holy Spirit and empowered by God. So here's one. All right, this is what it looks like when we do things in our own strength and we don't ask for God's help to share about the good news of the gospel. Not much, huh? Well, when we are filled with the Holy Spirit, when God is our strength, then we have the power to speak with courage and we can be bold. And this is what that looks like. <laughs> well, we wanna be filled up with the Holy Spirit so that we can go forward and push through the difficult situations when we're sharing about Jesus. It reminds me of this Bible verse in Philippians 4 verse 13 that says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Do you know that Bible verse? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Not on my own, but filled up from God. And I wanna encourage you today, you don't need to be a pastor like me, to share with others. You can share about Jesus anywhere you're at. Maybe you're on a sports team. You can ask someone, hey, do you know anything about heaven? Or maybe you're at school and you can ask the question, hey, do you know who Jesus was? Those are good questions to ask for you to get talking about the good news of the gospel of Jesus. So let's pray and thank God for his word to us today. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for this story, how Peter and John, they were speaking with power. They were speaking boldly, Lord, at the temple. And no matter who, who told them to stop, Lord, they still proclaimed about Jesus. So we thank you for that example and help us to do so in our lives as well. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. Okay, we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me in today's Bible story. Bye-bye. Jackie. And I'm Krista. And welcome to Crafty Time. <laughs> Krista, look how cute this is. Whoa, that is so cute. Isn't that fun? This is a pom-pom hot air balloon craft. Wow. Do you want to make one? I want to make one so bad. They're so, so cool. All right. You know what I want to do the most though is stick my hand in this thing of pop balls. <gasps> there are so many. There's so many pop balls. There are so cute. They're so cute. <laughs> you can order these online or buy them at the craft store. And we also have some paper, <gasps> cardstock wow. paper is best. So that's nice mm -hmm. and thick for when we glue it, it doesn't get all funky with mm -hmm. the wet glue. We have blue paper for the sky. And then we have brown papers, whatever color brown mm -hmm. you want for the basket. That's white. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> for the basket of the hot air balloon. Mm -hmm. And then we have scissors and markers and glue. And we have a cup to trace our balloons with. Oh. Because I am not good at drawing circles. Me neither. That makes it really easy. <laughs> much, much, much easier. So the first thing we're actually going to mm -hmm. do. I have this really cool silvery sparkly pen. Ooh. You can pick anywhere on your page that you want your hot air balloon to go. And you're just gonna take a cup or whatever you have mm -hmm. and trace it. So I'm gonna do one up high and I'll do one kind of up low. Whatever you do, you wanna leave a little bit yeah. of room so you can put the basket at the bottom. Perfect circles. Your turn, <laughs> yes. Awesome. Okay, so then what you're gonna wanna do is use that same pen actually, and we're gonna draw some lines coming down from the balloon shape to connect to the basket. So you can do like three or four, whatever you like. Make it nice and secure. Exactly. <laughs> have you ever been on a hot air balloon? I have not, but I've seen them before. I know, they look so cool. I've never been on one either. Have you guys been on one? I'm a little bit afraid of heights, so I think I'd rather do this craft than go on one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Krista, will you hold yours up so they can see? Yes, see? I got my two circles and all the little lines to attach the basket. That looks great. Okay, next what we're gonna do is cut out the basket. So we can use this dark brown for contrast. Mm -hmm. There's no method here, just cutting out like a little rectangle squarey thing. So I just make it kind of big enough. I don't know, just enough. 
There's no specific mm -hmm. recipe here. Maybe if your hot air balloon has a lot of people, you need a really big basket. <gasps> True. And if it only has a few people, you see a little basket, a little tiny one. <laughs> Good job, Krista, those look great. Thank you, wow, yours look great too. Here's some glue for you. So we're just gonna use a glue stick, my favorite. Moms like these too because they are not that messy. A little bit messy. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen a purple glue stick? Yes. I love the ones that are purple. Those are so fun. And then they dry clear, which is so cool. It's so crazy. I need to get a purple one. Okay, so you're just gonna glue it and then you secure it at the end of your little strings. Like that. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, the next part is so much fun. This is where we get the pom pom. So let's put those in the middle here. And we're gonna use the wet liquidy glue because Ooh. the pom-poms don't stick that well to the glue stick. And my favorite thing to do for this is to outline the balloon with glue. Mm. Ooh, dried glue, that's fun to pick. <laughs> <laughs> I outline the balloon with glue. That's perfect. And then we're gonna stick the pom-poms all around it. Oh, So let's fine. get pom pom -y. pom pom is so fun to say. Pom pom. It is so fun. <laughs> All right, did you make your outline? I did. Okay, me too. Let's show everybody. All right. Whoa. Oh, oh no. Oh. I lost a pom pom. <laughs> That's okay. This is easy. Everything's oh. fixed with glue. More glue. We're going to fill in the insides now. We're going to take. All the pom-poms, we're gonna do a big glob of glue all in the middle, and then mm -hmm. fill the middle of the circles with pom-poms. Mm -hmm. Let's do that now. All right, here we go. All right, once you have all your pom-poms on the glue, kind of give it like a nice little press into the glue. Reform your like circle. And look, okay, let's lift it gently because they're still drying, so I don't <laughs> want them to all roll off. But look how fun. Whoa. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So we're still missing two more details, which are very quick to add. So the first one is to add some lines in the mm -hmm. basket to make it look like a basket. So first you do some lines going up and down, and then you do some going across. Doesn't have to be perfect. Like this. That looks really good. It adds that extra detail. And then Krista, mm -hmm. why don't you go ahead when you're done with that, we're gonna, we have some white cardstock here. You can use regular white printer paper though. And we're gonna draw some fluffy white clouds to put in the sky to make it look like the balloons are flying in the sky. So if you wanna draw a couple of clouds and then we'll cut them out and glue them and then we're all done. All right, oh yeah, you drew me some too. Okay, I'm gonna cut this in half this way. And let's cut out our clouds and glue them. And we're finished! Wow! Let's show everybody our finished work. All right. Oh, I lost a pom-pom. <laughs> These are so fun. You know what, Krista, do you know what powers a hot air balloon? Hmm, let me see. Wow, look at this. It says hot air balloons work because hot air rises. By heating the air inside the balloon with the burner, it becomes lighter than the cooler air on the outside. Oh, Ooh. so <laughs> the fire and the heat give the balloon the power to fly. Rise. Up. <laughs> yes, that's like the Holy Spirit. Let this craft remind you of how the Holy Spirit fills mm. us and gives us the power to do things we couldn't do, like fly in a balloon in the sky. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Safely. <laughs> that's pretty cool, huh? It's so cool. Well, thank you guys for joining us for Crafty Time. Hey, if you make this, take a picture, post it on Instagram, and tag us at Harvest Kids Life. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Well, kids, thanks for joining us in our service today. Hey, Krista, I know that your voice was hurting earlier, and so I brought you some tea, hoping that it would help. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what, kids, in our lesson today, we saw how Peter faced difficulty, and even through it, God was with him and helped him preach the gospel mightily. And that's an encouragement to you, that's an encouragement to me, and most of all, Krista, to push through even when times are difficult. <clears throat> oh, 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 I think I can talk again. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Now you can go to the game tonight, your sister's game, and you can cheer her on. Oh, I'm so happy, and she'll be so happy to hear me cheering from the sides. And you know, I feel so inspired by Peter and all that he did. So I think that I'm going to tell the people that I'm sitting with at the game about Jesus. Yeah, praise the Lord. Well, 
Hey kids, keep an eye out for the things that God does that are miracles, amazing things in your life, in your families and friends' lives, because we need to give all glory to God for the good things that he does. Thanks for joining us. You can subscribe to us on YouTube and Instagram at Harvest Kids Live, and we can't wait to see you next time. That's all for now. Have a beautiful day. You. Bye-bye.